In the earlier videos, we discussed the design and operation of a totem pole PFC converter. I also showcased the MATLAB simulation of a totem pole PFC converter, including the version with MOSFET in the high frequency leg. In today's video, I will illustrate the MATLAB simulation of an interleaved totem pole PFC converter. Let's begin. This represents the fundamental topology of an interleaved totem pole PFC converter. Like any other interleaved topology, an additional inductor and MOSFET leg are incorporated into the circuit. And diodes are employed in the low frequency leg. The specifications for the circuit used in the simulation are as follows. The input voltage is 230 volts at 50 Hz, the inductor value is 300 microhenries, the output capacitor value is 2500 microfarads, the switching frequency is 80 kHz, and the rated power is 4 kW, so the load resistance used is 40 ohms. This is the controller block diagram of an interleaved totem pole PFC converter. Compared to the normal totem pole PFC converter, we have an additional current control loop for the second inductor current. Everything else in the controller remains the same. Now let us open the math lab and start doing the simulation. Add a AC voltage source. Set the voltage 230 RMS and frequency 50 Hz. Add a voltage measurement block. Connect it to the AC voltage source. Add a current measurement block. Connect in series with the source. Add a go-to block. Name it as IL. Add a series RLC branch. Set the branch type L and the value 300 microhenry. Copy the branch. Connect in series with the source. Add a current measurement block. Connect to each inductor. Add a go-to block. Connect to the measurement block. Name it as IL1. Name it as IL2. Add a MOSFET and form the H bridge. Connect the inductors to the bridge. Add a diode. Copy the block. Connect the diode leg to the edge bridge. Add a go-to block. Name it as BAC. Add a from block. Connect it to the gate terminal. Name it as PWM1. Copy the block. Name it as PWM2. Name it as PWM3. Name it as PWM4. Add a series RLC branch. Set 
set the branch type RC, resistance 0.02, and capacitance 2500 microfarad. Copy the branch. This is the load resistance and set the value 40 ohms. Connect these branches to the MOSFET diode bridge. Add a voltage measurement block. Connect across the load. Add a go-to block. Name it as V-Load. Add a constant block. Set the value 400, which is the reference voltage. Add a sum block. Change its sign to plus minus. Drag and drop the output voltage signal. Connect it to the sum block. Add APID controller. Set KP5, KI800. Add a product block. Drag and drop the AC voltage signal. Add a block to find the absolute value. Copy the signal. Add a RMS block. Set frequency 50, and initial RMS value 230. Copy the product block. Copy the block again. Change number of inputs. Add a constant block. Set the value 0. Copy the signal. Add a relational operator. Change the operation to greater than or equal to. Add a go-to block. Name it as ZCD, which stands for Zero Crossing Detection. Add a sum block. Change its sign to plus minus. Add a switch block. Drag and drop the IL1 signal. Copy the signal. Add a gain block. Set the value minus 1. Drag and drop the ZCD signal. Copy the entire blocks. Change the current to IL2.
copy the block. Add API D controller. Set KP 0.1, KI 600. Copy the block. Add a saturation block. Limit the value between 0 and 1. Copy the block. Add a relational operator. Change the operation to greater than or equal to. Copy the block. Add a repeating sequence. Set the values for 0 to 1, 80 kHz triangular carrier signal. Copy the block. Change output values to 101. Add a switch block. Copy three more switch blocks. Connect ZCD signal to switch block. Connect the relational operator output to switch block. Add a logical operator. Set the operation not. Copy the block. Connect its output to switch block. Connect the output of the switch blocks to the gate terminal of the MOSFETs. Add a scope. Connect the output voltage to the scope. Add another scope. Change the scope settings. Connect VIN and IL to the scope. Connect VAC and IL to the scope. Add a power guy block. Set the simulation type discrete, and sampling time 1E rise to minus 6. Open the model settings. Choose fixed step, ODE8 solver type, and step size, 1E rise to minus 6. Set the simulation time 1.5 seconds and run the simulation.
there is an error on the AC voltage source, so let's correct it. Run the simulation again. Open the scope to view the output voltage. This is the DC output voltage, which is regulated at 400 volt. This is the input voltage and current. Current looks sinusoidal and also aligned in phase with the voltage. That is, the power factor is unity, so the PFC circuit works fine. This is the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching.